I don't remember much about my mother. I remember my sisters and living with my grandmother um, in, in a um, kind of a tough house. You know, uh, back then, um, hitting children was kind of the norm. My grandmother threw a hammer at me one time. And, and by that time, I'm, I'm just thinking, I, you know, she's gonna kill me. And I never really thought that, but it was getting so abusive. July 25th, 1971, I snuck out of the window, stuck my thumb out, and uh, within a couple of weeks, I was in California. I worked in watermelon fields for a while, hitchhiked around, uh, ended up in weird places in California, and there's a lot of weird places in California in the early 70s. They found a boys' home in Brentwood to put me in, um, and uh, before 10th grade started, I was in a, a boys' home called Manchester House. I remember Miss Flutterman because I was having trouble in school. I was having a lot of trouble in school. I was not attending. I was didn't care. I was six months from being 17. I had no idea where that was going to go. I don't know why, but I think the boys' home thing and all that. And uh, she started uh, paying attention to me, trying to get me to go to school. It was clearly the darkest time of my life, without a doubt. This book is 43 years old. It was delivered to me from a Miss Letterman, and there was a note in it. She just said, you can be whatever you want to be. I read it in, in a concrete room, uh, on a metal bed and a mattress. It was the first step of, of not going down this abyss. It, it really was. There's no better example in the world than I am. None. None. Um, of, 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 of what a teacher's one touch can do.